I'm on a mat uh, in my garden since the grass is still wet and we're gonna start today in a seated position. Um, why in a seated position? Because today, um, actually last night, we had a super moon. Uh, I don't know if anyone noticed, um, but probably most of you guys won't have had the best night of sleep, neither will have your children. Which means that we kind of need a detoxing uh, series. So that's what I have for you this morning. It's a very simple detoxing um, session, which you can also use when you get up and feel a bit bog. Um, that's when you need to detoxify your body to feel as vital as possible. So let's start in a comfortable seat. Um, you can choose any way you want to uh, be seated. You can do it on a pillow, on a chair, um, on your knees, whichever makes you feel best. Um, so get into that and then just start by closing your eyes. Relax the shoulders down, really push the shoulders down. If you are in a cross-legged position, it also helps to really pull your knees. So pull your kneecaps towards you to feel those shoulders going down into your back. And then you either close or open your eyes and you make small circles with the nose one way and then the other. Really small circles and increase the size of those circles as you go. Make them bigger and bigger. So you really loosen up that neck, but in a very comfortable way. Change directions. And in the meanwhile, keep breathing. And then you're gonna nod, yes. As if you're going to say yes to this day. Yes, there's a new day. Yes, the sun is shining. It's gonna be a good one. Nod intensively. And then shake no to all the bad nights of sleep. And try to stretch your neck while doing it. Every time you go to one side or the other, try to stretch even further. That you really feel it on the upper side of your neck. And then we're gonna come back to center. Pull those shoulders down again. And on the next inhale, we're gonna lift up our hands, really stretch them as if you just woke up, you're in your bed, you really stretch out. If you yawn, it's okay. Just take this moment, stretch, stretch, stretch. And then when you breathe out, you're gonna bring one hand next to you. Doesn't really matter which side you start on. And then bend the elbow and stretch to one side. For the people who are used to doing yoga, it's okay to look to the sky while doing it. But be aware of your neck, don't overdo anything. Otherwise, just look straight ahead. On your next inhale, you come up again. And on the exhale, we're gonna reverse the sides. Really stretch the side of the body. On an inhale, we're gonna come up again. And on an exhale, we're gonna do it again. And try to go a little deeper this time. Try to stretch even further. On an inhale, come up again. Exhale, bend. This should feel really good. And each side one more time breathe out try to stretch and then when you breathe in pulse instead of going back 
Just slowly up and immediately down on the exhale. Again, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Then on the next inhale, we're gonna come up and we're gonna take it to the other side. Exhale, down. Inhale, a bit up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. And try to really stretch that side of your body. And on an inhale, come all the way up. And on an exhale, down. And feel those shoulders. Normally they should feel a bit more loose now, a bit more stretched, more awake. And whenever you feel ready, come onto all fours. So place, place your knees underneath the hip joints and your hands underneath the shoulders. And then on an inhale, we're gonna lengthen our belly. We're gonna look up like a cat. And on an exhale, do the reverse position. And really push that belly button towards your spine. Really push it as deep as you can get it. Go as hollow as you can with the belly. And then on an inhale, you do it again, the other side. Exhale. Do that a couple of times in your own tempo. Focus on the breathing. Inhale. And then on the next exhale, you're gonna come to a natural spine. And then put the toes underneath, stretch them. You're gonna feel it, that your toes are stretched. Then tighten the muscles in your belly and lift the knees. Keep breathing, keep breathing. If it doesn't work for you, then stay on the mat and just focus on pulling that belly button inside. We're gonna be here for five, four, you're doing great. Three, two, one, and let go. Try to focus on your shoulders. Try to be relaxed. Then on an inhale, and this is going to be a hard one, so I'm first going to show for the people who are not used to doing this or who feel really inflexible, you can either stay in this position and do a couple of more cat-cow positions, or you go immediately into a downward facing dog, because we're going to meet there anyway after this. Then for the people who feel like they can do this, then on an inhale, you're gonna step one foot between your hands and on an exhale you're going to stretch your leg and go, go sit on your heel. Point your nose towards your knee and really try to feel the stretch in your leg. If this is too much for you, you can also keep parts bend it. As more as you keep it bended, the easier it gets. If you stretch it, you can really feel it here in your leg. It will also open your hips, which is really good for if we want to detoxify our bodies. And on the next inhale, we're going to come back. Exhale, go back to the initial position. Inhale, take it to the other side, and then exhale, stretch.
inhale come back exhale initial position we're gonna do that two more times on each side so inhale place your foot exhale sit down inhale come back exhale cat cow position other side inhale exhale inhale exhale and while you place your foot between your hands try not to shake all that much with your hips in yoga they say that you should be able to put a cup of tea on your hips to give you a reference you can exhale inhale exhale and one more time on the left inhale exhale inhale and exhale come back into your cat cow position so we're going to do it again put your toes underneath your feet and lift your knees tighten your belly pull that belly button inside keep it coming keep it coming you're doing great you're almost there in five four three two one and on an exhale we're gonna go immediately into our downward facing dog position and you can sigh here as loud as you can do it with a lion's breath so in through the nose and out through the mouth and the more you breathe out the deeper you go into the position and on the next inhale you're going to come to the front of your mat. You're going to keep this bended position, this forward fold. If it doesn't work for you, take a block or anything you can find in your house to increase the height. And once you're here, you're going to place one hand, preferably your left hand, in the middle so centrally in front of your toes and then on an inhale you're gonna really like a bow and arrow you're gonna tighten the bow and you're gonna look up to your hand if that doesn't work for you then make the bow less tight until it works for you the people who really want to challenge themselves can also take their left thigh to really have an extra um, flex. Then inhale, exhale, forward folds, and then we're gonna take it to the other side. Inhale, tight that bow, and then exhale. I'm gonna do that again. Inhale, exhale, again. Inhale and exhale. Okay, we're gonna hang. Really let your head hang as deep as you can go. Let gravity do the work. Focus on all the oxygen going into your brains. Take a deep breath in, sigh it out. And then on the next inhale, you're going to very slowly come up with your head being the last part you get up with. Great job. This was already not such an easy part, but a very important one to really have all the toxins liberated uh, from your body especially the liver and the intestines uh, can have a hard time and when you do these flexes they kind of get wrenched so it means that they 
can lose um, or yeah that they can lose the toxins what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start in Tadasana that's the way we normally start our yoga sessions so put your feet as flat as you can on the floor or on the mat or wherever you're at try to stretch your toes if possible not everyone is capable of doing that make sure that you really have a flat back so point your sacrum towards the floor really have that flat back position and then on an inhale we're gonna rise you can look at your hands and then on an exhale we're gonna go and sit on our imaginary chair if you can't do an imaginary chair then please please take an actual chair and go sit because it's really important that you do not cross any physical borders your body is giving you so inhale stretch even more and then exhale we're gonna place our hands in namaskar so it's actually it's like namaste in front of your heart we're gonna inhale with our chest towards our thumbs and then exhale twist and place your elbow on your opposite knee and then look to the side then inhale stay here exhale try to bend a bit deeper inhale stay here exhale bend a bit deeper inhale come up exhale stay in this position inhale come all the way up stretch and exhale feel it out we're gonna take it to the other side so again inhale stretch exhale go sit on the chair inhale in this position exhale namaskar inhale really try to open that chest and then exhale put your elbow on your knee and look to the side inhale where you at and exhale try to bend deeper inhale and exhale go deeper and inhale come to the middle exhale stay where you are and inhale all the way up and exhale yeah perfect and we're gonna make sure that our shoulders stay loose so do some circles with them one side then the other and then you can place your feet in a wide position take it about a meter 10 a meter 20 whatever suits best for you if you can't do that if you can't go any wider or if it feels really odd then just take it closer never cross any boundaries try to really feel the outer sides of your feet push those into the mat yeah really focus on that try to feel that so that the energy can be lifted on the inside of your legs and then we're gonna breathe in all the way up breathe out twist try to really hug yourself while you do this if that doesn't work for you then just keep your hands where they were in the, in the beginning and just look towards that side then inhale here exhale come back inhale all the way up and then exhale hug yourself inhale stay here exhale inhale 
and then exhale come back inhale all the way up and then on an exhale we are going to come into a flat back position make sure that if you do this your body actually has the tendency to go there really keep it aligned with your ankles so try not to go all the way if that really doesn't work for you then stand in front of a wall and place your heels against that wall to make sure that you really make a flat line with the back of your legs i know for sure that if you keep practicing then one day you're gonna get there i promise so go down to a flat back position again if you feel like you cannot touch the floor bring the floor closer to you so use books or uh, anything you can find to really lift uh, your hands if you don't need that place them on the floor and here we're gonna do the same as we did in the forward fold so we're gonna place our hand in the middle if you are able to do it really place it between your two feet if that doesn't work go more in front to really not overstretch your back or overstretch anything so place your hand in the middle and then on an inhale we're gonna tighten the bow and look up on an exhale we go back we switch position and inhale we look up exhale go down once more inhale go up exhale come down inhale come up exhale come down inhale come up exhale go down one more time inhale and exhale inhale and exhale now you're gonna stay down then you're gonna come up very slowly so place your hands in your hips and on an inhale you're really gonna push your feet into the floor and come up very very slowly with your head again being the last part coming up this is normally your aha moment it's the moment where your blood starts to circulate in the other way again your heart pumps a bit more you feel alive and come closer with your feet you can heel toe inside you can also jump if you prefer to do that it doesn't really matter what you do then we are already at the last part so we are again gonna be in tadasana make sure you relax the shoulders close your eyes breathe in bring your chin a bit towards your chest And now set an intention so really think about something you want for yourself for the upcoming week it can be something really small really simple or something really big you have to work very hard for <clears throat> it can be anything you want it to be but really set an intention tell yourself that you're gonna do that keep your eyes closed And then breathe in, go all the way up. Again, stretch it out as if you just woke up, because actually you did, you just really woke up. And then take an imaginary beach ball over your head. And then on an exhale, go left. <coughs> really bump the hips to the right inhale 
to the center. Exhale, bump your hips to the lift. Inhale, center. Exhale, to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale. Inhale, come to the center. And then exhale, slowly come down. And once again, inhale, stretch it out. Try to stand on your toes. Exhale, come back. Do it again. Inhale on your toes. Exhale, come back. Once more, inhale. And exhale. Great job. <coughs> You're doing really good. And then again, relax the shoulders. Bring your hands into Namaskar. Close your eyes. And breathe. Try to focus on the breathing. Don't try to alter it. Don't try to change anything about it. Just focus. And then we're going to inhale. Once more, come up. And then exhale, go down. Namaste. Thank you.